What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this EP from Michael Angel Valentine called Level One. Michael Angel Valentine is a rapper who's coming out of Mississippi and he's been at it for a little while. So if you want to find out more about him and check out his music, you can just take a look at the information box I got for you underneath this video. But first things first, we are going to talk about some of the strengths on this project, beginning with the fact that I think he's a very good rapper. He brings a lot of high energy ad libs, he has a charismatic mic presence and nice flows, so as far as that side of things goes, he really can keep your attention just by how he's rapping. He also brings a lot of fun pop culture references on the song The Meal, he's actually describing himself as Johnny Cage and a Dynasty Warrior, so very clearly you don't want to fuck with him. And he even throws back to when Jadakiss threatened to push a fridge on Puff Daddy known today as Diddy, I think. I don't know, he goes back and forth between Diddy and Daddy. But either way, Jada Kiss was going to drop a fridge on him, and I thought it was kind of funny how Michael reminded us of that on this track. So there are some little things here to keep your attention. I also think this track has some of the album's best production with the soulful string and vocal samples. So this is one of the tracks that I would say is the best overall. But the main issue with this EP is that Michael does very little to make himself stand out and leave a strong impression. Again, I do like the rapping, and I think the beats are pretty good. You're going to hear both of these things on The Extraordinary MC, where we get a catchy hook, quality rhyme schemes, and some deep bass. But unfortunately, there's just nothing to this EP that has me clamoring to come back to it. He doesn't bring a whole lot in the way of concepts, content, and topics. So after listening to this one, I don't feel like I learned anything about who he is or what he really thinks about. I'm not saying every project has to be like that, and that would be fine if this, you know, if this was a bit more exceptional or more unique and creative. I just think it's very important to make yourself stand out on such a short EP because you only have a couple of tracks to leave a lasting impression. You know, with such a short project, you can't really be making any misses here. You got to have a lot of hits on here. You got to really be putting yourself out there so people want to come back for more. And unfortunately, I didn't get that from this EP. However, I'm not going to say he's a lost cause because as I've said a couple of times now, I think he can rap, the beats are decent, and the overall sound quality is there. But he can quickly and easily improve his music just by bringing something that's a bit more interesting as far as concepts and topics. That is the main takeaway that I took from this damn thing. You know, there is a little bit of a concept with this one because you're getting some chef clips throughout as well as bars about cooking and food. But I found that kind of confusing because the title of this alludes to video games. It's called Level 1 and then the cover says Press Start to Play. So I'm not really seeing too much of a connection there. Maybe I'm missing something. So I just felt like that was a bit odd and scattered. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You're going to hear some decent bars on this thing. So I'm going to go with a 2.5 out of 5. I just think it's pretty average until he does bring some more into his music. But hey man, it is just an EP, so this isn't the end-all be-all, and hopefully he can hear some of what I'm saying and maybe bring that into his next project. Not saying he has to, I mean, I'm not the end-all be-all, you don't gotta please me, but I'm just telling you what I think, so, you know, I've reviewed thousands of albums, man. Maybe I know what I'm talking about, maybe I don't. But hey, you're watching, so there you go. As for my least favorite track, I'd have to pick the Time to Eat outro, and a lot of that has to do with that bar about being the grand pooba of Grey Poupon who musters up Will. I just felt like that was kind of forced, but he does have a pretty funny reference to the game being on the dating game show called Change of Heart. That was a classic moment, that show was classic, and so was Eliminate and Blind Date, man. I miss those shows. That shit was funny as hell, but I don't know how old you are, you might not remember it. However you want to look at it though, 2.5 out of 5 feels fair to me. There's certainly something to work with here, and I've already talked about what I think. So check it out for yourself, and then hit me up in the comments section with your thoughts and opinions. As usual, you also want to check me out on all my social media sites so you can show me love and show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.